So a while back my dad drove my truck and uh, after driving it he asked me what was the difference between my truck and his as far as suspension goes because mine rides so much better than his and we looked at it and I knew that his, the previous owner of his truck had done the, I believe it's called the reverse leveling where they put a drop shackle in the back on the leaf spring uh, which lowers the back end of the truck down. Uh, so I did look at that and I saw that there is a different shackle on his truck than there is on mine and mine still has the factory suspension. Uh, also airbags. We put these on his truck I don't know, a couple years ago um, or several years ago. I'm not real sure. Um, but we realized that uh, or what I think is happening was the airbags in combination with the lowering shackles he was basically riding on these bump stops because there was just so much less room. Uh, with that uh, with the lowering shackles on so he said take them off you can have them and I put his factory bump stops back on and uh, gave it a lot more room uh, and uh, I'm sure it's gonna help us ride quite a bit uh, but uh, I'm gonna put them on my truck because I want the extra air suspension so here. All right, so these are the air lift 5813s it's going on a 2006 2500. So these kits are really simple when you get them. I imagine they're all going to be in pieces uh, when you order them. I've obviously put these together a while back when I put them on his truck, so I didn't take them apart. I just took them off all in one piece, uh, including airline, still attached. Just unscrewed them from where I had drilled the holes on his on the back bumper. So uh, really simple. You got two mounting holes in the top where your bump stops are and two holes for this bracket that goes around your axle and that's all it is and all you gotta do is run your airline and put your inflation nozzles I don't have a crossover or whatever a T on this I just have two individual uh, nozzles on this and, which is fine it's just one less place to leak so I like it that way alright so first step is to remove the old bump stops she's got Two, was it 15 or 14? I think it's 15. All right, so at this point, you would be seeing a step-by-step -step, uh, of how to remove the bump stops and how to install the airbags, but all the footage went away. Uh, SIM card or memory card, uh, my camera just corrupted whatever so I'll walk you through what you have to do uh, with it already completed on my truck all right so pretty simple um, bump stops would be right there two bolts 15 millimeter pulls those down put your airbags in place the two bolts and nuts that come with them mine are 14 millimeter and then you have on the bottom just this clamp that clamps on around the uh, axle tighten that down well don't tighten that until you get those tightened up and make sure everything's nice and straight so make sure those are tight first then tighten those all right, then route your airlines underneath, away from the exhaust, away from the suspension. I just drilled holes, installed both uh, Schrader valves right there. So you could do a T and have one Schrader valve, but I like having two. It's less stuff to leak. So it's really not a hard job. Um, a couple hours, maybe. One more thing I'll show you is if you wear up your airbags in the back and it's taller than you want it to be, you come under here and you have these bolts on each side. That's your torsion, uh, torsion bar adjusters. And uh, what you do is just put a jack underneath the tire, the side you want to work on, lift the tire off the ground. And then you can just tighten that bolt 
and then set the truck back down see if it's where you want it to be and you can keep tightening that bolt until basically until you run out of threads and if you run out of threads and you still want more then you're gonna have to get different keys different torsion keys or a lift kit or whatever you want to do but uh, that from the factory will give you some lift well that's all I got for this one guys uh, unfortunately all my footage that I shot went away so uh, hopefully this helps you guys though